Welcome to this spooky Halloween special. I'm just kidding, it's not gonna be spooky whatsoever, but I love a good theme around here, and it's currently the last weekend of October, so we are gearing up to celebrate, and tomorrow we're hosting some friends, and I'm really looking forward to it. So today I wanna to spend some time tidying up the house and prepping for that. We're about to go run some errands. I need to pop by the library to return some library books that are due, and then also gotta pick up some groceries and just some miscellaneous items. I also wanna to go to the garden center and refresh my mums because unfortunately I've done a terrible job of taking care of the mums. I think my first mistake was putting them out so early in the season in Florida. They were just bound to <laughs> basically dehydrate in the heat. So I'm learning. I'm learning how to care for the mums, but I'd love to kind of refresh the flower pots and then yeah, just pick up some groceries, run some errands, probably pick up a pumpkin coffee of some sort while we're out and about. And then today, I also have one more pumpkin I really want to carve. And I have a super fun idea that I've been looking forward to implementing for quite some time. So we'll have a little pumpkin carving session and roast some pumpkin seeds and see what else the day brings. But I'm excited to spend time with you all. put away all the groceries and Halloween candy and I'm so glad that I popped into Joanne Fabrics. I was hoping they would have some sale Halloween decor because it's so close to the actual holiday and typically they like to do some major sales and I found these disposable coffee cups because when our friends come over tomorrow one of the activities I want to do together is stroll throughout the neighborhood and look at all the different decor um, pieces and see how people decorated their homes so we'll go on a hot cocoa stroll and these will come in handy for that and then I also found these cute candles as well as these cute taper candles to set the mode or set the mood and I just thought these were really cute and detailed planters are looking way happier and less spooky with these fresh flowers so we have this beautiful yellow lantana variety which I absolutely love and I believe these are really popular pollinators so that's always a plus and then these gorgeous French marigolds are beautiful and the perfect color variety for the season they didn't have a huge selection of mums at our garden center today so I think they're actually gearing up for Christmas time I saw they had the tent up for the Christmas trees and then they had a small uh, selection of poinsettias. So <laughs> I think they're moving on from the mums, but so thankful I found these because they're absolutely gorgeous. And I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the hose and give this a nice watering and also water our garden as well as the vines we have up here. And I'm gonna go ahead and train them because as you can see towards the top, they're really starting to grow every which way so I'm going to train them a bit.
dinner at 4.30 p.m. because I started to get so hungry. And this is a repeat dinner that we had earlier in the week, but I still had plenty of the ingredients, so it worked out nicely. It's so yummy. It's a creamy orzo, but I also added some shortcut pasta because I ran out of the full-size orzo that the recipe called for. It has sun-dried tomatoes, onion, garlic, and coconut cream to make it like rich and heavier. It's absolutely fabulous, and I'll link the recipe. I highly recommend it. Okay, the time has come to carve this beauty. And the vision is to create a pumpkin fairy house. If you saw the vlog a few weeks ago where I added this cute little fairy door to our garden area, my plan is to use that and essentially <laughs> I'm gonna hollow out the pumpkin, pull out all the seeds and we'll roast them. I'm thinking the seeds will look the same even though this is a fantasy pumpkin. I'm thinking they'll look the same as just a typical pumpkin pie pumpkin, but We'll see, and then I'll carve a little section for the door to go, and we'll try to configure that so it makes sense, and we can put a little light. And these glow-in-the-dark stars actually just came in the mail. I ordered these specifically for Palmer's little nook, where we keep his bed and all of his toys and stuff. Um, since I have that painted like a midnight blue, I thought these would be really charming to add into that space. So, I may even use these for inside the pumpkin as well because there's quite a few of them. I don't think I'll need all of them for his room. So, let's, let's just have a time being creative and making our very own pumpkin fairy house. So, I'm temporarily going to take this fairy door out of its spot. Thankfully, it's pretty easy to move. So, we'll take this and I'll probably end up using this ink corn as well and then we also have this window which I mean may as well and I think I'm gonna try to position this um, in the front yard area some way we'll see and I just like the thought of that because then maybe the cute little trick-or-treaters will spot it and it'll be a magical moment for them and hollowed out as much as we can from the pumpkin. As you can see, it is quite thick, a lot more thick than your standard classic pumpkin. So it was quite difficult to cut the top off because it's just a lot more hardy. So it was a challenge and hopefully carving out the door won't be too tricky, but thankfully that's pretty much the only part I need to carve out because for this window, I'm just gonna try to like prop it up, maybe even prop it up on one of these cute little uh, bumps it has. So we'll figure that out, but yeah, definitely more of an arm workout to carve this one. product of our fairy pumpkin house. I'm so happy with how it turned out. I think it is incredibly enchanting, whimsical. I love these little mushrooms that I found. They really complement and just go with, you know, our mushroom obsession of the moment. So I have these little pumpkins near it too that look like little mini houses and oh, I'm just so pleased with how it came out and I'm excited. It's already pretty dark but I'm excited to see it when it's completely dark outside. 
Let's go ahead and roast these gorgeous pumpkin seeds. I'm so glad that the pumpkin had quite a plethora, quite an abundance. How I like to prepare my pumpkin seeds is, one, I rinse them out, and I usually take a towel to kind of dry out that excess water, but I've been letting this just sit in the colander while I was doing the whole fairy house extravaganza. So it's pretty good to go. And now I'm gonna add it to a bowl and sprinkle some olive oil as well as paprika, garlic powder, and sea salt. And I kind of just do what feels good, but there's lots of good recipes online. And I go heavy on the paprika. I like a little kick. And I'm gonna roast them in the oven for 15 minutes at 350, but I prefer them quite crunchy, so we'll check them um, once that time has passed. We'll see how they're looking, but oh, they're one of my favorite snacks. They're so good. While our pumpkin seeds are roasting, let's go ahead and put these glowing wonder stars into Palmer's room. It came with this little pack of putty, so essentially the direction said to shine the stars or leave the stars under light for at least a minute to activate them i suppose and then just stick them on with the putty and it's as simple as that today until this evening is to just relax enjoy the day I plan to stay in my PJs as long as possible until I change for tonight and the other day my neighbor she dropped off this um, like Halloween gingerbread house essentially and it's so cute so I want to take some time today and put it together I looked up the most Halloween episode of Gilmore Girls, so we'll turn that on for like a little festive thing to have playing in the background, and we'll make our little haunted gingerbread house. And I also have a other idea for this. I was when I was shopping yesterday, I saw these cute pumpkin earrings, but I liked them a lot, but I didn't love them. And I have some like. A while back I was making DIY earrings and I have some of the metal part that goes through your ear left. So we'll see how it turns out. I was thinking of making like pom 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 pumpkin earrings, but I never got to it. And I'm thinking I might be able to use some of these cute, I don't know exactly what I would use. I want to try to think of like some cute festive earring idea. Because I'm not really dressing up tonight, but maybe I could do something like use these candies and make earrings out of them. Or maybe like these bats could be cute. So we'll see. We'll brainstorm. But we're just going to have a crafty, relaxing day. Change of plans. We're going to pick something out on Disney Plus because I was trying to log into. Netflix but was having a hard time and I feel like there's some fun movies on here. I watched Hocus Pocus 2 last weekend. It was really cute. I enjoyed it. I did fall asleep during it which happens uh, quite often when I watch movies at night but it was still cute. All the parts that I watched were very cute. Is Nightmare Before Christmas on here? Oh, yes, it is. Oh, it's the sing-along. Maybe we'll watch that. I also have never seen Descendants, which I've heard good things about, honestly. So maybe I should watch that. Halloween Town. I think I got to watch Halloween Town. That's just one of my favorites. It's very nostalgic to me.
unfortunately, this is not going well, clearly. <laughs> My earrings? I think they turned out really, really sweet. Literally. From the next day, I just made myself a lovely afternoon drink. It's cider and lemonade mixed, so nice and refreshing. And as you can tell, it's nice and bubbly from the dry ice from last night. Last night was so fun. It was such a treat, lots of laughs. We ended up doing the murder mystery game. I think I showed you that, right? I ordered this murder mystery puzzle game that we were able to do. I did not contribute very much because it actually had a lot of reading. It it was something that you had to kind of sit down and focus on. So I didn't contribute too much because I was trying to make sure everything else was going well, but we had a great team of detectives that figured out the mystery. And then after that, we went on a spooky stroll throughout the neighborhood to look at some home decor, which was really nice. Made some hot cocoa, tea for that, and then we just played games till 1 a.m. So it was a really fun night, lots of sweet memories. And my mom actually brought over this dry ice because I wanted to find it at the grocery store earlier this week, but they were out of it. So she sent me a picture. She was at a friend's house and she sent me a picture of the, the drink they were having that had dry ice in it. And I was like, oh, that's so cool. I wanted to find dry ice, but the store was out. And then she ended up dropping off their leftovers like during the party. So that was really sweet. Let me, like I said, I want to show you the dry ice in its full glory. So I'll get a chunk of it and add it to the drink. You're not supposed to touch it because it can burn your hands. That's how cold it is. <laughs> it's so cool though. Whoa, look at that. It's really bubbling. It may even overflow at this point. This glass is so cold from the dry ice that it is developing frost on the bottom. Do you see that? Like it actually has icy frost. I'm hoping that it doesn't burst at this point because it really is that cold. Apparently, if you put a block of dry ice in your freezer, it could actually break your freezer because it is so insanely cold. It is definitely something to proceed with caution, but super, super neat, clearly. But that's gonna be it for today's vlog. I'm gonna go ahead and edit this so I can have it up for you tomorrow morning, but I love and appreciate you all so much. I hope you have a beautiful start to November and I'm excited to see you next. Bye.